Hey guys, welcome to this video. I did a post on the Swiss Yen about it being short and you're at the early stages of that now. If you haven't seen that, it is on my profile and a lot of people have looked over it so far. Um, what you're seeing at the moment today is quite a good setup and if you check your hourly just first, um, we have described this slanted fall, okay? This losing impetus fall. You can see the market's losing strength. You can see we're just pulling down and you get these dips up and back and dips up and back. So you have to ask yourself, what are you gonna do on the next one? Okay, you've seen already this happen and you have to decide, okay, well, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna short again in line? Okay. And that is gonna follow the trajectory for our further entries. You can see we're pulling back to that 20 and 40 KMA. The fall hasn't been extremely harsh. I did mention that yesterday on my streams and things like that. But on your four hour, you can see weak green candles. So there's a little bit of a weak push up. It trickles up to um, these key price action areas, okay? Where you can see there's price rejection previously. And that is why we're looking to reshort because we're, we wanna travel with the market downwards. We've already got this overall bias, okay, um, on the Swiss yen and various other yen pairs because we have come up for such a significant amount of time. Now, whether we drop from here or not is not particularly important. Eventually we'll come back to MAs and probably get back to this support, okay, over here, eventually, whether it's this time or next, um, is debatable. However, the thing is that's really important is that we are, and as you will see from my updated posts, we're looking to trade this bit by bit as you fall, okay? So that means if you shorted and you're expecting this mammoth fall just when you want, okay, you'll find that a lot of the time you'll be hanging on and hanging on and the market will just keep going up. So that is why I advise traders to take advantage of each little step down. Imagine it going like downstairs, okay? There's your steps up and down. And that's what we're looking to do, okay? Because that means we can get in and out, take multiple trades, not just hold for one slanted move all in one go like that, because you won't always get exactly where you want straight away. I think there's a little bit left in it till early support. If you swap to your daily, you can see uh, 1583, okay? That is your, gonna take you to your nearest MA, and you might need a bit of um, a bit of a shift from the ADP employment data coming up, and you've got some uh, sentiment coming at three as well for the US news. So lots of movement on the ends. Well done if you shorted it. Keep up to date with this post, and if you want to start myself for free, just go under the video. There's a free webinar training you can watch. See you in the next one.